have had sex with several people and to judge your righteousness based on your successes and your failures. But instead, to judge your righteousness based on a relationship. Because when you begin a relationship with Jesus Christ, He will clothe you in His righteousness. Now, I don't care how many people you've had sex with, He will make you a virgin again. I don't care what people say. They can debate it with me all they want. If He cleanses you of your sins, then He cleanses you of your sins. He either does or He doesn't. So when people throw back up your old sins in front of your face, you say, dude, 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, anyone who is in Christ, that's me, is a new creation. And all the old things have passed away. Everything has become new and new. That's old and that's gone. I don't want you to base your opinion of yourself based on your successes or your failures. I want you to base your opinion of yourself on His success. On the fact that He was perfect. And He said, if you accept me into your life, the great exchange, I like to call it, the great exchange his righteousness, He gave it to us. He took our sins, He exchanged it. He took our weaknesses, our sins, our iniquities <laughs> upon Himself and gave His righteousness to us. So tonight I want to encourage you to look at, it, look at things a little bit differently and not judge yourself based on the good things that you're doing or the bad things that you're doing. But follow Him. Have a relationship with Him. Because when you spend time with Him, He will change you. You won't even have to try to change yourself. The Bible says a good tree bears good fruit. When you have a relationship with Him, you become a good tree. And you may be a baby, and it may take a little while to see some of that, but He's going to nurture you. He's going to feed you. And you're going to grow up, and you're going to start to look like Him. You're going to start to talk like Him, start to walk like Him, want things that He would want. Listen, man, I used to want some crazy things back in the day, but as I follow God, as I've had a relationship with Him, my desires have changed. I don't want the same things I used to. I used to want a Corvette really, really bad. I still want it a little bit. Tonight, man, don't, don't just uh, obey a bunch of list of rules. Love Jesus. Love Him. Because then, it's not really about obeying and disobeying. It's about, I don't want to hurt my friend. I don't want to hurt the one that I love more than anything. Why would I want to hurt my friend? Why would I want to hurt him? Why would I want to displease him? You know, I heard somebody say, the last thing I'll say, we'll, we'll move on. I heard somebody say, you know, you will serve whatever you fear. Not whatever you're afraid of, but whatever you fear, what fear, whatever you give honor and whatever you give respect to. If you fear your friend's opinion of you, you will sit in front of a mirror for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, getting ready because you're afraid somebody's going to say something bad about you. And, you know, and that's what you fear. Or if you think, if you fear this or that, you'll serve it. But when you fear, when you honor and respect Christ, when you put Him first, you'll turn the TV off. Not because you're following a set of rules, but because out of respect for Him, you'll walk away from a bad situation. You'll say no when you need to say no, not because you're obeying a list of rules, but because you have a relationship with somebody that you love and care deeply about and you don't want to hurt Him. You see the difference tonight? Religion's a list. Relationship's about love. He says, knowledge makes us feel important, but it's love. God recognizes the one who loves Him. Tonight, love Him. Thank you for listening to me. Can we pray before we get out of here? If you're here tonight, you turn, you turn me down, dude, because I mean, like, if I even move, it's, it's just craziness. I don't know if there's anybody even back there. Okay, yeah, awesome. If you're here, man, you say, man, I need to make some things right in my life. I, if you just take an examination of your life and just look at yourself right now and just say, yeah, there's some things that need to change. Everybody's eyes are open. Who cares, dude? We all make mistakes. We've all sinned. Get over it, okay? Because we got to move, all right? Let's make this happen right now. If you have sin in your life, you want to make things right with God tonight, I want you to lift up your hand. Right with your head. Just lift it up. God bless you guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Pray with me. Pray with me right now. Grab the hand of the person next to you, the sweaty hand of the person who's been rocking right next to you, all right? Your hand is surprisingly not that sweaty. <laughs> Good thing I'm not holding your face. 
Your face is very sweaty. <laughs> 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 Tonight, man, your relationship begins when he takes the sin away. Sin is the most dangerous word in the English language because sin is the only thing that will keep you from a relationship with Jesus Christ. I know we want to call sin, we like to call it a mistake. Or we like to call it a, a bad lapse of judgment. You can call it whatever you want, but there's only one thing in this world that will keep us from a relationship with Jesus. And it is sin. Tonight, our relationship begins with Him by asking us to forgive Him. To forgive us of our sin. So let's do that. Let's begin our relationship. And then let's move on past judging ourselves by the good or bad we do and just begin to hang out with Him. If you mess up, don't run away from Him. Run to Him. You see, it's a pattern of having a relationship with Him. Like I said with, with my wife, even when you don't feel like talking to Him, talk to Him. It's a relationship. You with me tonight? You following me? Yeah. Falling in, falling in love with him. Because sometimes you'll wake up, you know, with a jerk attitude. I do that all the time. Like, I don't want to spend time with God today. I want to play Modern Warfare all day long. Yeah. <laughs> I did not expect that kind of response. <laughs> Being relationally honest. You guys are passionate. <laughs> let's uh let's let's put some of that passion in the appropriate places tonight, alright? Let's do it, let's do it through prayer. Come on tonight. I want you just to pray with me in faith and ask ask God to just forgive us of our sins. Can we do that together? Pray with me right now. Say Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your son Jesus. Lord, I believe in you. I ask you to come into my life. Forgive me of all my sins. I want to have a relationship with you. I want you to be my Lord, my Savior, my God, and my friend, the lover of my life. Teach me what it means to love you with all my heart. And teach me what it means to love my neighbor as myself. Lord, I am totally yours. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name. Can somebody and everybody say, Amen. Amen. Guys, we love you so much. Thank you for coming out tonight. Sorry we can't hang out, man. Please go over there and support the band. Satellites and Sirens, Decipher Down. Go to the Disciple Table. We'll see you next time. Cup of joy. God bless you. Thank you, guys.